necessary, but I, I travel a lot to Paris, to London, and to New York because I am invited to do such and such, and so I go. I like to do my projects here. I like to, because here is more universal. So uh, I prefer to live in this universe. And we are only artists, we are not politics. Politi I believe art is higher than politics. In the latest years of the militars, 1980, many books were forbidden by the militars and they were burned. They burned one million and a half books, unbelievable, like the little prince, or San Exupery. They forbid that book, they forbid many, many books. So I have the idea to create the Parthenon where the Greeks invent the word democracy and to reproduce it exactly on the middle of Buenos Aires. So I create a real Parthenon with steel structure and I got 30,000 books forbidden by the militaries. I go everything by free and I wrap the columns of this Parthenon that lasts only five days, then come to cranes, I lie down the Parthenon, and the people grab the books. So like the people was going crazy with democracy was arriving. So that was uh, my biggest statement about democracy. Democracy without books will not be democracy. So nobody has the right to forbid, to forbid books because you forbid ideas. So that's how I work. I always, I am inventing new things and I can't stop imagination, I can't stop. We work immediately. Every day I have a new idea and sometimes take me 18 years at the Babel Tower of Books trying to do it, trying to get the sponsor because it was so high and so big and I had to get books from all over the world. The people went up like seven floors, surrounded by books from all over the world, and the music was the word book translated, book, libre, libro, in, in German, in all languages. And that was the music when the people was going up. They see this reality from high, and then they came down last 20 days, and then the people came and grabbed the books from below, and all the other books went to public libraries. So it has a sense of ideas, of freedom, that must be one universal language so we can understand each other. It has many ideas of that. The other latest work that I've done, the Agora de la Paz, they were books I edit myself with 120 phrases with the definition of freedom, peace, and friendship. The people can read in a pocketbook from celebrities who wrote, peace is that from Mahatma Gandhi, freedom is that from Jean Paul Sartre, friendship is that from Garcia Lorca, okay. So they're written in the books, they read those phrases and become most peaceful. <laughs>